Today we are talking about Janu, Janu uh, Saptami, which is uh, related to pastime related to Mother Ganga, very uh, uh, divine pastime. And uh, so we were just talking beyond the river Viraj is the spiritual nature, be, which is indestructible, eternal, inexhaustible, and unlimited. It is a supreme abode consisting of at least three quarters of the Lord's opulences. So one quarter or even less is the material world. So how does Ganga Mata appear in our world? Ganga Mata appears in our universe, uh, appearance in our universe is described in many, many scriptures, especially the Bhagavatam. And we've just gone through that in the eighth canto. Lord Vamandev, fifth avatar of the Das avatars, in Treta Yuga approached Bali Maharaj, Yes, yes. Tell the story. Uh, uh, means uh, Vamandev came to Bali Maharaj and uh, Vamandev asked for uh, three steps of land. So Bali Maharaj uh, gave that. Uh, so one Vamandev increased his size and he broke the uh, universe, sh universe shell. Oh, shell, yes, good. The covering. Beast. With his left foot <laughs> and a few <laughs> drops of water sipped into the material world from the river Viraj. There you go. So his one foot, he covered the whole, one step, he covered the earth. Second step, he covered the whole uh, of the rest of the universe, including the heavenly planets and Brahmlok. And then he pierced a hole in the universal covering. Prabhuji, means the universe shell is uh, this only I was pointing. It's what? It's that. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. But I, actually, it's very, very big. It's far bigger even than this universe. Huh? Yeah. Seven layers. The cover is bigger than this universe. <laughs> huge. <laughs> huge. Absolutely huge. Anyway, uh, um, sorry, I didn't quite understand that. The, sorry, I didn't quite understand when Brahman Dave his other foot. You say he pierced. Pierced. Yeah, he pierced a hole in the universal covering. Every universe is covered with um, seven different layers. Earth, water, fire, air, ether. Air, ether, mind, intelligence first. Mind, intelligence, ego, yeah, that's good. And each layer is thicker 10 times than the previous layer. And the Prabhuji, Prabhuji, layer... Prabhuji, Prabhuji, uh, layer eight now, Prabhuji, but uh, you told seven. Yeah, no, it's, I think it's seven layers. Um, yeah, seven layers, and then the oh, is it maybe eight actually? Yeah, so then every layer is thicker by 10 times the previous layer, and it's the, the, the universal covering is very thick. <laughs> and in that universal covering, actually, there are kingdoms and glorious um, lifestyles led by the people there. <laughs> um, and we, we'll talk about it one day. Uh, we've, we've done it once. We've covered it here when we're looking at the abodes of the universe or abodes of the Lord, sorry. So we'll do it one day. But this covering was pierced by the left toe of Lord Vamandev. <laughs> so his toe's big. The water flowed into the universe. It came from both the Yamuna and the Ganga. So this is from the Garga Samhita. This is not very commonly known or understood. And this is the worst. With Sri Ganga entering that opening, the Yamuna, the best of the rivers, then came to the unconquerable Lord, so abode of Vaikuntha in the planet of Maharaj Dhruv. So this is Samhita, Garga Samhita uh, 3.7. Together, Ganga and Yamuna first flowed onto Dhruvlok 
Then it went on to the planets of the seven sages. Then they purified the heavenly planets. Later they parted ways. So Yamuna uh, flowed through Mount Kalin Kalindi, Kalinda. Thus she became known as Kalindi. That's one of the other names of Yamuna Devi. And then she flowed into the Kanda forest and eventually she came into Bindavan and she married Krishna. She's one of the eight principal wives. Ganga uh, remained flowing through different heavenly planets. So she didn't come with Yamuna. She stayed up into her, in the heavens. She didn't want to come to earth because she knew the earth won't be able to bear the force of her flow. She was pretty strong. And she also knew that because she was so pure, there would be a lot of people who were sinful who would bathe in her waters and leave all the sinful reactions in her waters. Hmm. And she didn't really want to keep all the sinful reactions of the people. Yes, Riyanj. I remember kind of just the the thing, uh, hmm. Krishna and Arjuna, Indra, fought with Arjuna. Good, good. Yes, very good. So then, what happened? How did Ganga come to the earth? In Treta Yuga, in the Ikshwaku dynasty, King Sagar. So we'll, we are going to just about touch sing King Sagar's pastimes in the next few chapters. He had 60,000 sons. They King Saga performed a horse sacrifice. The horse was stolen by Indra, who became a little envious of King Saga's endeavor. And he hid the horse near Kapil Muni's ashram in Patalok. So Patalok is one of the lower planets. So the 60,000 sons, they were looking for the horse and they found the horse eventually. They found it near the ashram of Kapil Muni. So they became offensive to Kapil because they thought he stole the horse. Kapil Muni became so angry, he burned them to ashes from the fire emanating from their own bodies. So this is really whew, heavy stuff. So then um, uh, people were looking for the, 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 the children, the boys, Nobody could find them. Eventually, one of the relatives of King Saga, I can't remember who now exactly, came and Kapil Dev advised him that your ancestors are only going to be liberated if you can call down the Ganga from the heavenly planets. So he advised that she should be petitioned to come to earth and then to Patalok, because Patalok is below the earth to save the 60,000 souls. Their nephew, Anshuman, he tried doing tapasya, but he failed. His son, Anshuman's son is Dilip. He also failed, but Dilip's son, Bhagirat, he succeeded because his tapasya was very powerful. And he succeeded in calling Gangama and he promised her that you will the earth will be able to withhold, withstand your force because Lord Shiva, I will petition him to um, slow your descent down by catching you on his head. And he also assured, don't worry about the sinful people because there will be so many saintly persons who will also come and bathe in your water. And in that way, they'll purify you of all the karmic reactions. So, very nice uh, Bhagirath really uh, satisfied Ganga Mata. So then Ganga Mata was very happy also. She, she descended onto earth. She, she was a little proud as well. <laughs> she fell into Lord Shiva's head, on, her, on his head. And he trapped her in his hair. And he wouldn't let her out until she prayed for his forgiveness. <laughs> because she was a little proud. So then uh, Bhagirath, uh, he led the Ganga, led Ganga Mata from the Himalayas 
Um, oh my gosh. From, was it Kailash? That's what she was. Yeah, that's what she was. Yeah, you're right. The Himalayas, um, and you will see the journey of, of uh, Ganga. And there you go, Bhagirat is leading the way, Ganga is following. Pretty amazing picture, that one. So, once Ganga Mata came to earth on her way to Bhagirat and nether regions, nether regions, sorry, the nether is the Patalok, her rushing waters created turbulence and started destroying the fields and the sadhana of a sage called Janu. He's a really powerful sage. He was angered by this. And to show the power of the sage, he drank up all of the Ganga. <laughs> it's extraordinary. And upon this Bhagirat, he prayed to Janu that to release Ganga so that she could proceed with her mission. And again, Bhagirat was such an amazing devotee. He pleased Janu Muni. And Janumni released Ganga from his ear. So this is the sitting place of Janudvi. This is near Mayapur in West Bengal. This is him drinking it up, drinking Ganga Mata. And there he's coming, she's coming out of his right ear. <laughs> She's also known as Janavi, daughter of Janu. Sorry? That happened today. And that, this happened today. Today is Janu Saptaki. That's why we're celebrating Janu Saptaki. So Nityananda spoke to Jeeva Goswami about Janman, Janna Nagar, uh, where they saw the enchanting uh, hermitage of Janu Muni. And he said this, this chanting place, enchanting place called uh, Janudvi is known as Badravan. At this place, Janumuni underwent penances and received darshan of the golden form of Gauranga. So this is by Bhakti Vinotaka in his Sri Naudvi Dham Haitna, chapter 13. On this day of Janu Saptami, Ganga Mata is specially worshipped and many people make offerings to the forefathers bathing in the Ganga. The Ganga is the life and soul of millions of souls and stretches some 1,700 miles across Bharat. So starts uh, at near Gangotri, Gomuk, and carries on all the way to the Bay of Bengal. Amazing. So let's do the Ganga Snan, and we can do it for people of Bharat, we can do it for our ancestors, so it's a good day to uh, mentally uh, have a bathe in the Ganga. So we'll start. Yeah. yeah. From Gomuk it started. Gomuk is um, the source. Yeah, it's close to the source. It's close to the source. It's, it's the in, Himalayas. It's in Tapawan, actually. Right? Tapawan, yeah. It's just yeah. a little bit further than Gomuk. Even further. Yeah. You need to go there one day, young man. <laughs> so this is Gomuk. I don't here. know the route. <laughs> You'll have to get a guide. <laughs> this is a fascinating place. Uh, glacier now has moved much further down. It's melted a lot. But you can have still have a, a very quick dip in at Gomuk in the Ganga. So we can do that. We can chant Ganga Mai Ki Jai three times. Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai. It's a quick in and out because it's cold. <laughs> Icy cold. Icy cold. And on the way, how to get to Gomuk, there's, it's a, I think it's an 18 mile, Kilometers. 18 kilometer journey from Gangotri to Gomuk. And that journey can't be done by car. Has to be done uh, all by foot, by foot or mules, by mules. At least most of the way by mules to a place called Bojbas, which is sort of three kilometers, three kilometers away from Gomuk. And in Bojbas, you can stay the night. It's a very nice, uh, beautiful cabin there with a wonderful chef. 
um, and in the morning you can wake up early and enjoy the beautiful atmosphere in Gomuk and do the rest of the three miles, three kilometers walk to Gomuk. It's not easy because there it's quite high up, so it's um, it's quite um, when it's cold, but also the oxygen is very thin, so you have to be a little careful. Um, and it's a very, you know, it's a tough walk. You have to have walking shoes, and a good idea to keep some uh, oxygen oxygen with you. Yeah. So then you come back again the same way, and it's a fascinating journey. Absolutely fascinating journey. At least once in your life, you must have to do it, have to try to do it. So then we go to Gangotri. And Gangotri, the Ganga moves very quickly, very fast indeed. Prabhuji, you told us one day. Yeah, I have. <laughs> I'm glad you remember. They, they do Aarti every morning and evening to Is Ganga. Is this the Himalayas? Yeah, that's the Himalayas. That's the Himalayas, the range. From there, Ganga came? Yes, flowing through here, flowing through Gangotri. Gangotri is again a fascinating place. Very fast one? Very, very, very fast. fast. Yeah, you can hear it from 200 meters away. The Ganga is so fast. Is it cold there, Prabhuji? Yeah. Yes, yeah, still icy cold. Quite cold, yeah. And the Ganga, you can bathe in there, but you have to be very careful because it's fast flowing. So they have railings, you can hold on. We managed to bathe in there. And it was amazing. Absolutely. Then if we, uh, if we go away from the river? Is hmm? you what? Means it will drag us and uh, it will drop us in other place than what we have to do? No, no. Hmm. You make sure you hold on to the railings so you don't fall into the river. Otherwise you drown, it's easy. Yeah, it'll, to, it'll, to be it'll, taken it'll be very like hard. Current. No, you can't swim there, it's very hard. Oh. And uh, in Gangotri, it's a small town, um, very beautiful town actually, a really- mm. Nice so, Dharamshalas and- uh, Nice Dharamshalas. And Bojwala. <laughs> yeah, and uh, you, you can uh, stay, you can, uh, there are many sages who live there as well. Very austere sages. I heard Muchukunda went to there. Muchukunda. Was he there? I can't remember now. Maybe. I can't remember. But there also there's some waterfalls there. Beautiful. Such a fantastic place. I did not saw waterfalls. Definitely worth going there. And you don't have to climb too much. In this one you can go by car to Gangotri. Go. And then we go down the Ganga to Rishikesh. Rishikesh, a very famous place. It's probably about eight, eight hour journey from uh, mm. Gangotri down to Rishikesh. Minimum eight hours, yeah. By car. And it's a tough journey as well. Up it's, and it's down. It's a nice uh, scenic journey. Very scenic journey. <sighs> and this is Rishikesh, beautiful. It looks like a real city. Yeah, you know, it is, this is, is it's a big city. Holy place. Holy place. Many ashrams, many sages. Is there cool water in Rishikesh? Very cool, yes. Mm. This Ganga flows through. And you can bathe is again. Is this slow or fast, Prabhuji? This is slow. It's slow. Here it's she's a little slower. Yeah, a bit slower. Oh. And again, you can stay in Rishikesh, very nice places and very nice place altogether. So, we, oh, we didn't do Ganga Maiki Jai here, did we? Mm -hmm. Let's do Ganga Maiki Jai and go Gangotri. Ganga Maiki Jai, Ganga Maiki Jai, Ganga Maiki Jai, Gangotri Ki Jai. It's one of the places I want to go back to. Uh, at we least went to Haridwar. Harid, yeah, we're going there next. So here we can do the same. Ganga Maiki Jai, Ganga Maiki Jai, Ganga Maiki Jai. My father took me to the place in holidays. Okay. Did you not go to Rishikesh? Mm, no. It's, it's not far. Mm, very close. And there's two bridges, Lakshman Jula and um, Ram Jula. 
Yeah, very beautiful. And then uh, let's go to Haridwar, which is very, very close to Rishikesh. And there, Harikipu, very beautiful. This is one of the most popular sites where people come and take bath, wash their sins off here. Where is this Prabhuji? This is Haridwar. This is Haridwar, Harikipuri. Harikipuri. Where and is Harikipuri? This is the, the, this is the area. This area is called Harikipuri. Yeah, this is it. Oh. And you see here, the priests, they will have their stalls, they will do different ceremonies for the pilgrims, hair cutting, uh, also people who've departed, they will pindan. Pin, do the pindan. And also people who mm -hmm. they will do the ashes into the Ganga, like that. Maitri Prabhu? Yes, Maitri Prabhu. We usually go there every time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Before we go to Madam. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is actually a must. Yes. The last time we stayed, oh, was it there last time? Yeah. We had three days on the Ganga. Mm -hmm. It's a fantastic place. Fantastic. Uh, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Again, we can do Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai. Here again, the river is a little fast flowing. So there are railings that one holds on to uh, and then dips. And we can dip for many others as well. Everybody who we care for. There were many members came to the place. Yeah, when you went? Mm. I went to... Uh, mm. They also came many. Yeah, okay. yeah, there's always many people. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's always thousands of people came. Thousands of yeah, people. Yeah. yeah. It's always busy. Fascinating place. I, uh, uh, that time uh, I was dipping into the water, I have some fear because it is flowing. Yeah, fast. yeah, it's fast. Yeah, that's right. I have to be careful. But my father helped me. Mm, good. So now we're going to go quite a way down Prayagraj. to Prayagraj. It's called Allahabad, but uh, we don't like that name. Oh, yeah, keep, I've got to change that. That's wrong. It's not Varanasi. It's at Allahabad, Prayag. So this is where the three Veni is, Ganga, Yamuna, and Saraswati meet. Saraswati is underground, so it's not visible. But here you can see Ganga. Oops. Ganga is dark. Ganga is oh, here. No. Ganga no. is light. Yamuna is dark. Yes. Yeah. This is. Then you. Saraswati is where? Underneath. Disappeared. She's not present. Uh, not. If uh, we go down, we can see Saraswati. No, you can't. <laughs> She's disappeared. Yeah, she may be there, but. Uh, you can see her at. Uh, um, uh, Man. Uh, no, I think. Uh, Gangotri. That's where she's, they, uh, Ganga she's starts. Thing. Yeah, where, where it, it, yes, it's... Yes, thing, right? Or was that the other place? That's yeah, yeah. yeah. Where, where Ganga starts, there's, you can see her there. She's still there a little bit. Mm -hmm. Very fascinating place. There's boats here. People go and do, uh, again, pindan, different ceremonies, bathing. And when the Kumbh Mela is here, it's, uh, they build a whole city. So we to take a ride, we can uh, go in the boat. Yeah, go in the boat in the middle and bathe in both Ganga and, and Saraswati. I did not and, went uh, to the place. Huh? Yeah, no, no, you, you wouldn't have yet. But my grandmother, get... my grandmother went to the place. Okay, good. Very nice, nice place. Very big place. Okay, oh. we can take a snack. Oh yeah, let's do that. So here we can do both. Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai. And then here we can do Yamuna Mai Ki Jai, Yamuna Mai Ki Jai, Yamuna Mai Ki Jai. Saraswati Mai Ki Jai. Ki Jai, yes, very good. Now we'll go further down the Ganga to Varanasi. Varanasi. Ah, my, my grandmother went to this place only. Yeah, this is a fascinating place. On the 
banks. There's many guts where. I wish I can go to the place. Yeah, one day you will. You can. You can go. You're still young. There's the Vishwanath Temple here, Lord Shiva's, very famous. And uh, Lord Shiva station stays in this place. I yeah, think. he's very merciful in this place. If one wants to die, go to Krishna, go to Varanasi, and Lord Ra, uh, Shiva will chant the name of Ram actually into the ears of the faithful devotee. Roger, Roger, can I tell you something? Very quickly. Roji, uh, in the eighth canto, you told that the Lord Shiva drinks the hala hala poison. Mm -hmm. oh, he drank it for uh, uh, only neck. He did not uh, drank it all. Uh, means uh, he drank all, uh, but uh, he, he had kept it uh, in his neck because it will pollute. Uh, it will, uh, the, uh, Lord Rama. He's yeah, that's right. Very good. Very good. Very good. Well remembered. So let's do Ganga Mai Ki Jai here. Ganga Mai Ki Jai. Ganga Mai Ki Jai. Very good. So after Varanasi, there are other holy places, um, but the one we're going to hit is Navadweep or Mayapur. And this hey, is Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Yeah, that's right. This is Prabhupada Samadhi. This is the TOVP. Wait, Prabhu, this is a white temple one. That's Prabhupada Samadhi. Samadhi. Huge. But it is uh, looking small. I did not wait. <laughs> Compared to the TOVP, it's, it's tiny. <laughs> so here we can do this is very holy place. Chitra is Ganga there uh, uh, beside uh, Mayapur? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. And it's very famous because of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He had he had great mercy on Ganga Mai. He's not very fast flowing. Mm -hmm. well, Mayapur is not constricted. No, it's not hugely, it's not a big town yet. It will be at some point, maybe. <laughs> So, Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai. And finally, we go to Ganga Sagar, which is in the Bay of Bengal. And we can do Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai, Ganga Mai Ki Jai. So, this is uh, merging with the Bay of Bengal. And then it goes further down to the nether regions into Patalok. Is this ocean? Yeah, that's part of the ocean. So who are the parents on earth? Himavan, personification of Himalaya mountains, and Menavati, the daughter of Mount Meru. They're the parents of Ganga because she flowed through them. And she's also, of course, the adopted daughter of Janu Rishi. <clears throat> Hence why she's called Janavi. She's the Dharampatni of Maharaj Shantanu. And also... According to the Shipura, she's also married to uh, Lord Shiva. Mm. She's the mother of Devrat, uh, who is Bhishma himself. And Kartikeya, it says here. That's why she's the wife of Shiva. Mm. Sister of Viraj and Yamuna Devi, which we talked about earlier. And she appeared in the Himalayas. Ganga is considered to be the sister of Parvati as well because Parvati is a daughter of the Himalayas. So there's a big connection between them all. And the comparison with Yamuna Devi, Padma Puran states that the Ganga, uh, Gangajal, when purified 1,000 times becomes Yamuna. See, Yamuna is very powerful because Krishna had so many pastimes with Yamuna, right from the beginning of his time on earth. And, but, if we look at Ganga Devi and her association with Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who used to bathe in the Ganga during his Naudupira, she is no less than Yamuna Devi. Thus, Ganga and Yamuna are to be considered like spiritual sisters, as is Viraj, and is most dear to Gauranga and also Krishna. In Braj, Krishna once manifested Ganga at Govardhan. And that lake is known as Manasi Ganga. One time, 
um, Nandamaba and the other Gopas wanted to go and take snan in the Ganga. And Krishna persuaded them, you don't have to. I'll bring Ganga here. So the personality of Ganga manifested in this Manasi Ganga. So this, this, is, this Ganga is exactly the same as the river Ganga. And on this lake is a lake, very beautiful lake. We should have a picture of it, actually. Um, Krishna performed very, many wonderful pastimes, the boat pastimes. Ah, there you go. We have it here. This is the Manasi Ganga. Very, very nice. You can, when we do Palikram of Govardhan, this yeah. is one of the stops. Get refreshed here. <sighs> and this is the, one of the pastimes. They, they gopis wanted to cross the river or cross the Manasi. But Krishna does the uh, boat, uh, boatman. boatman. And then he rocked the boat and he caused a little bit of thunder and lightning and waves. And <laughs> <laughs> he told the gopis, the boat is sinking. You better take some water out. So they tried to take the water out. But he said to them, no, he's still sinking. You're too heavy. Take off your jewelry. <laughs> and throw it away. Throw away the pots. Take off your clothes. And then they got suspicious. Hang on a minute. <laughs> this sounds like Krishna. Then they realized it's Krishna. They gave him a good thumping. <laughs> so this is a wonderful pastime that Krishna has with uh, his... Uh, After all, go with then puja, I can go to this place and fresh up. Yes, absolutely. When you have darshan of Govardhan, there waves in the river. No, no, no. Uh, Krishna manifested them. <laughs> still, that is still. Yeah, it's, it's nice and still. <laughs> it's like a lake. It's not a river. <laughs> So there are seven ways of worshipping the Ganga. We can just call out her name. That's good enough. You're worshipping her by calling out her name. Having her darshan, which is what we just did. Touching her waters, which we did today as well, uh, uh, virtually. <laughs> by performing arti to Ganga. In Haridwar, every morning, every evening they have arti. And it's one of the most incredible artis. They have that in Rishikesh, Gangotri, so many different places. By bathing in her waters, which we, we, we did that virtually, standing in the waters of the river, you're worshipping her. And carrying clay dug out of the river, you're worshipping. And sometimes people put that as tilak on their foreheads. Lord Krishna, while describing his opulence in Bhagavad Gita 1031, he says, of flowing rivers, I am the Ganga. <laughs> nice. Just as Bhagirath brought the Ganga to Bharat, Prabhupada brought Bhakti Ganga to the world. So we're very really lucky. <laughs> she has many names. Bhagirathi after Bhagirath. Janavi after Janavi. Nikita. Janu Kanya. Kanya is daughter. Sapteshwari. Sureshwari, Bhagavati, Vaishnavi, Vishnupadi, Mandaki, Mandakini, 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 yeah. Gangi, Gangika, <laughs> and Gange. <laughs> Very nice names. Alang, uh, Alakananda. Sateshwari means uh, seven sages. Yeah, it's something to do with that. Something to do with that. I'm not sure exactly what. Nice. Seven different um, branches. Streams. Yeah, maybe yeah, it's seven, seven streams. Uh, seven streams. Yeah, good, good, good. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. I would like to share something uh, while yes. going to Kedarnath. Oh, okay. Kanda. Yeah, we had a dip in Mandakini River. Ah, yes. Yeah, that's where she nice. is. Yes. Yeah, nice. and I remember that I have some uh, uh, colorful rocks from that river. It was so beautiful that I picked some small ones and I brought back to Mauritius. Mm. Wow. Uh, very nice. And when I asked why is it that there are so many colorful rocks, 
mm. and some people were there. They, they told me that the, because the Bandakini River flows in different mountains, so uh, as she flows, she breaks the mountain rocks and she just bring it together with her with while flowing. So that's the, the mountains have these different colorful mm. rocks. Oh, okay. so precious. It's very beautiful. Rocks. Did you walk up the Kedanath? Uh, no, I went with a horse. Yeah, mm. we did as well. <laughs> yeah, my, my grandpati, he <laughs> went walking, but uh, wow. then he had to take a horse. Too. Yeah, it's too too long. Too tough. <laughs> yeah, too tough. And the steps are too... Uh, it's, it's, yeah, it's uphill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we had it stop at the uh, near Alaknanda River also, but the water is extremely uh, going so roughly. It's mm, incredible mm, mm. The, the speed at which uh, the waters go there. Mm. And then uh, we had a stop at the Rudra Prayag, so where yeah. Alaknanda uh -huh. River meets. Uh, yes. Yeah. I don't know. Alaknanda meets some another river, and then it uh, the river Ganga. becomes Ganga. Yeah, mm. yeah. So At there, Bagi Bagi uh, and uh, Alaknanda. Right? Yes, yes. There, here uh, at that uh, uh, meeting point, there there is a rock. Narad Muni. Mm. Uh, well, I read that on the internet. Narad Muni had a tapasya meditation on that rock. So mm. this rock is called Narad Shila, and uh, when he, uh, after his meditation, he was meditating on Saraswati Mata. So then Saraswati Mata appeared and uh, blessed him so that he would be able to sing uh, so beautifully. Wow! Mm. Because I sing, I said you no. Know, we had to had a stop over there. Mm. While I'm way back uh, to Rishikesh, so that I can go really and have a touch and a blessing from that rock. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And I managed to get a little piece of that rock and I go back. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I think we spent a night there as well, uh, one of the hotels. Yeah. Nice, nice place. Yeah, nice place. And we got some uh, Rudraksh also from the priest and at the temple. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Thank you. That was really good. Share. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that. Thank you so much. Did you go to the other Yamunotri and um... no Gango to Yamunotri? We didn't go there. Oh, okay. Uh the girls were quite small at that time, so seven and nine. So mm. we were told that the the trek is quite difficult for being girls like that so we didn't go there mm -hmm. yeah okay yeah we go only to Kedarnath and Badrinath mm. mm -hmm. amazing very good thank you for sharing glories of Ganga Mata um, yes Rianj Raji, when I went to Haridwar, uh, I uh, I got some fear, uh, but my father hold my uh, hold my hand and uh, uh, he made me uh, take uh, three dips in the water. Mm -hmm. For the fourth dip, uh, I I I means uh, I did not touch my father's hand. I went into the water and uh, uh, again uh, uh, and again uh, I came on the river. Good. So, some of the glories of Gangamata are described in conversation between Shona Krishi and Sutta Goswami in the Kalki Puran, chapter 34. By bathing in her water, all one's sinful reactions are vanquished. By pleasing Ganga Devi, one can easily gain release from the bondage of material existence. She is very powerful. One who serves Mandakini Ganga is always victorious and is considered to be the master of everyone. One who recites or hears these prayers, that's the Kalki Puran, chapter 34, either in the morning, at noon, or in the evening, will receive the association of Ganga Devi. All the sinful reactions will be eradicated, and his strength and duration of life will increase. And now, mm -hmm. I think this is the final bit. 
we can talk about oh karuna you can you can talk about the ganga uh, talao yes so ganga talao is a natural lake in mauritius but um, uh, i don't remember yeah so it's there there 1972 no before 1972 there was one person who had a dream about the lake and then, well, it was whole forest area over there. So he had to walk a long way through the forest and then he reached over there. And from that time, we celebrate the, the Mahashiva tree mm. in March over there. So afterwards, we had many temples that have been constructed there, Shiva Parvati, Radha Krishna, and so many others, Ganga Yamuna Saraswati Temple also is there. And mm. then we have very recently all the uh, incarnations of Lord Vishnu temples, so very beautiful temples over there. Mm. And at what time, uh, I think they are doing it each year now, they, uh, the government, they bring Ganga water from Bharat and then they pour it into the Ganga Talao just before uh, the Mahashi Rachi celebration. Oh, okay, nice. Yeah, they, they had it uh, from 1972 onwards, so they have continuously bringing Ganga water to purify the lake before Mahashivratri. Very good, fantastic. And um, it's a huge festival, huh? Oh, yeah. Yes. For, mm. for Beautiful all over the world. Five days, people walk from their towns and villages, they go to the lake with big cowers and very beautiful, uh, colorful cowers, different forms of cowers. And mm. then they go there, they spend uh, one night and then they move back with their cowers again, back to their village. So it, has, it is as if uh, mm. one 10 days full celebration going on in Mauritius, very beautiful. Yeah, amazing. Uh, very good. It's a very peaceful yes. place. Very good. Maharashtra. Yes, yeah, the Mauritius. <laughs> <laughs> and you've been there many times, Maitri Rishi Prabhu? Uh, yes, near in the south. It's in oh, here. okay. Yeah. Yes. Very good. And you bathe in there? No. It's no, free. no, no. Many tourists also come. We have a big... Uh, Shivji, 108 feet in uh, Durga Ma. Wow. Also. Yeah. How tall is a Pujari? <laughs> <laughs> it's outside. <laughs> yes. Yeah. We have to use a helicopter <laughs> from Harshivrati to shower flowers. And this is, <laughs> is it? Is that what they do? Yes. Wow. Oh, yes. Wow. That's and nice. Come, yeah. That's nice. Y yes, Kaushalya Maji. Prabhuji, is a Gangotri near Mansarovar? Mansarovar, is it? Mansarovar. No, Mansarovar is further up, like where Tapa one is. Yeah, Mansarovar mm. is a little higher. Um, higher than Gangotri. Yeah, I think yeah. Mansarovar actually is in, falls in Tibet, I think. Mm. Is it? Have you been there, Prabhuji? Not Mansarovar. No. 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 I think Same. it's in. It's in Tibet, I think it falls in current Tibet. So, yeah. It's Kailash, Mansarovar. Yes, yeah, Mansarovar is near Kailash. In China. <laughs> China, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was oh, that, that area. Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, it's in Tibet because you have to go into Tibet to go mm. to Mansarovar. Okay, oh, yeah. so Gangotri is a different place. Yeah, Gangotri is in Bharat. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Gangotri is uh, like near the Himalayas, so mm. all the way up north from Delhi. Just keep going north. Mm. Mm -hmm. So ba basically, the, the the Himalayas uh, are in between Tibet and Bharat. So G G Gangotri is on this side, mm -hmm. and Mansur is on the other side. We can show okay. you. Okay. We have a map here. There you go. Oh. <laughs> so here, this is Delhi. Yeah. And 
here will be so this is the himalayas where it says source of the ganges mm. so mansur would be on the other side so yeah the himalayas yeah Tibet. yes yeah. yeah so this is where gangotri gomuk topovon mm. all of those places will be on this side and then he, he got the himalayas Separate. Is Gangotri very far from Delhi, or yes, it's a good it's, uh, yeah a day. day it takes journey. about ten hours from Haridwas, and so you're looking at if we're driving, you're looking at uh, from Delhi to Haridwar for about seven hours and another eight, uh, eight nine hours to Gangotri. Okay, so, so you'd have to uh, break, uh, stay in Haridwar one night and then go. Maybe oh. next year, Mataji, we make a plan. Yes, please, Prabhu, take me. I haven't been to Gangotri. Yeah, yeah, I want to go I'll there. Go I'll stay there for a while. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Maitreya? We did the chart, Chardham Yatrami Pasuram Prabhu Yes, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> I remember you saying. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, <yeah. laughs> hey, Krishna, so nice. Prabhu, yeah. we would like to Sindra. join you as well. Yes, sir, Indra. I want you to come. It'd be amazing. <laughs> oh, we love to join for the Tirthi Yatra with you. Yes. Uh, yeah, we should try <laughs> for... <laughs> Maybe next year, next summer. Summer is a good time to go. July. Like yes, June. please. Yes, yes. You can write our name in your list. For Kedarnath, you have to take helicopter. <laughs> Where? For Kedarnath. Yeah. Kedarnath. Yeah, we tried the helicopter. Yeah. Yeah, we, we, no, we, we went up by, by horses. Uh, yeah. Yes. Helicopter was dangerous, I think, at that time. Yeah. Um, yes, Karuna, you are definitely on the list. Who's going to sing otherwise? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do it, Prabhu. <laughs> Everybody run away. <laughs> no. Very I'll be there. good. Very good. Now, I think Gangatri is a, a must at some yeah. point. You should do the Chadam, maybe. Chadam is a bit of... I, I would, I'll, I, I'll send some guides with you. I'll, I'll sustain <laughs> Gangotri. I, I really love that place. It was an amazing place. Extraordinary. Thanks to Guru Maharaj, we did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. His mercy. And when we went, uh, we after we finished, we Guru Maharaj blessed us, and then we went to pick him up from Kalkidam. Mm. And it was amazing, actually. It was an amazing <laughs> journey. All right. Um, that's it. Uh, I think anybody else, anything you'd like to share? Sita Ram, you haven't said anything? Mm -hmm. Anything you'd like to share? Oh, Krishnavani is with us. Hey, Hare Krishna. Fantastic. Fantastic. Very good. So, um, yeah, let's stop. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna.